This is something that we call preventative medicine. It's brought to you by the Open Society Initiative for West Africa, OSIWA. The wife of former Nigeria's president, uh, Shehu Shagari, was among those who died recently after battling COVID-19 at the isolation center in Abuja. The other day, we sent our crack reporters to Ihela to speak to church goers on Mother's Day. We asked them how they have coped with COVID-19 pandemic. Watch. As you can see, I'm putting on my own face mask. Okay. Which indicates that this church is also observing the, the, the social distance and all the pandemic, the COVID-19 pandemic rules and regulations. Okay. We say that we should abstain, like we should maintain social distance and wear our um, face mask. Okay. So okay. As you can see, I'm doing my own, which means this church is observing it. We also asked them if COVID-19 was real thing to them. What's their reaction? Uh, to me, I've not seen anybody because if coronavirus is real, I've seen somebody. Okay. I've shown us the COVID. Okay. But I've not seen. I had, but I've not seen. And I know that in this of Asia, there's nothing like coronavirus. Okay, there's nothing like coronavirus. Okay. All these face masks that you people are putting, are it, is it for just ordinary to escape from police people? I say that prevention is better than curing. Okay. We are just preventing it. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah. I cannot say that by the time we are whatever, it's not real. I cannot say it because we have heard series of news the number of people who the virus are killed and the other people. So I cannot say that it is not real. It is real if I were to say. But I cannot give you 100% assurance because I have not seen anyone killed by COVID-19. Rather, I have heard. So okay. I cannot say that I'm 100% sure. Okay. But from the news and other, other news, from the news so far, I can say that it is real. Since mothers run the family, if mothers do not sign up, most likely the whole family won't. So what precautions have they been taking? Say that prevention is better than curing. But okay. We are just preventing it. Okay. Uh, yes. Well, actually, oh, okay. Maybe it's the other side. Here we normally keep a bucket of water okay. and hand sanitizer. Okay. Before you enter inside the church, you just wash your hand and use this uh, sanitizer to sanitize your hand before going inside. And like I just told you, some people also observe the protocol, the, the, the rule of wearing their face mask. And the most important question. If they will take COVID-19 vaccine, if it were made available to them, listen to them. Um, well, yeah, as you can see, I'm putting on my face mask because okay. I don't want the, the virus to escalate in okay. this community. Okay. And because I don't want it to escalate, I will not. I will try to apply all the measures it takes okay. to make sure that we stop the problem. And when the Bible said something about six cases, it gave us. Um, some things that when we see them, we know that um, um, CCC is at hand or the mark of CCC or whatever. Coronavirus is so stubborn that we need to remain cautious. In the meantime, wear your mask, wash your hands, maintain social distance, follow health officials' guidelines, and stay safe. Only those who made it alive at the other side of the pandemic will get the chance to tell the stories.